There is some brand new information as we now know what started an early morning house fire in Hazel Green. Fire officials told Way 31 it began with a candle burning only feet away from where two children were asleep. And now the family of five who live in that house on Tillman Road, well, they're left without a place to live. Way 31's Rodney Ross spent the morning in the neighborhood catching up with neighbors who say they were relieved to learn everyone made it out of that house safely. What you're looking at behind me is the room the homeowner told me that fire started in, and I do want to show you all something. If you take a closer look inside of this room, you will see a charred bunk bed. This is where the homeowner told me his son and his daughter were fast asleep when that fire broke out. I could smell kind of a burning smell, but I couldn't figure out which house it was. By the time I woke up, the fire was already down enough that I couldn't see it. Erica Green lives in the neighborhood where that fire broke out early this morning. She told me she looked out the window and saw the street lined with fire trucks and ambulances. I talked to the homeowner who didn't want to go on camera. He told me he woke up to the smell of smoke coming from his kid's bedroom. He tried to put the fire out himself, but wasn't able to. Instead, he got his wife, his mother, and two kids out of the home safely. Green told me when she saw all of the fire trucks outside, she was worried someone had been hurt. When I told her the whole family made it out safely, she breathed a sigh of relief. Thank God everybody made it out. Everybody needs to make it out. Life is important. It doesn't matter whose life it is. I talked to the Hazel Green Volunteer Fire Department chief, who told me he lives a few doors down and was able to get to the home quickly. He says they were able to contain the fire to one part of the home and put it out within 10 minutes of arriving on scene. Green told me she hopes her neighbors are able to quickly get back on their feet. God has watched over them, and I hope that they get everything they need. The homeowner told me he doesn't know what his family is going to do quite yet, but the Red Cross did come out to help assist them. In Hazel Green, Radnia Ross, Way 31 News.